Hey guys, so I'm here to film my March 2015 favorites. I have, again, quite a few things. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in because I actually have random favorites. I have actually some uh, body care favorites, some fragrances, makeup, and yeah, so I'm going to jump right in. And yeah, let's get started. So I've been loving lip stains, and I actually have been loving some really affordable lip stains. Um, I have been trying the LA Girl lip paints. I love these so much. I have this one, which is in the color Tempt, and then I have another like purpley one. Let me see. Let me get my little lip. Oops. Let me get my little lip bag here. Let me see if it's in here. not in here it's probably in my purse but I have another like purpley one I've also been really loving the NYX um, soft matte lip creams I have three of them uh, two of them are already worn one of them I haven't the one I haven't worn is in Monte Carlo it's like a deep red but I have one Milan it's so stinking oh no I haven't worn Milan I have four of them sorry I've worn San Paolo, this one. So I've worn this one, and then right now I have on Abu Dhabi, which is a really pretty brown. I've been loving brown um, lips, so love those. This one is like a corally pink. The ones I haven't worn are Milan and Monte Carlo. So there's like, I guess this is like a pink, and then this is a deep red. So I have four of them. I really like the texture, it's really smooth. So those are those, and now I'm going to try more colors, <laughs> I love those, I got them at Nordstrom Rack, if you were wondering, and then I got uh, the LA, LA Girl lip paints at um, Ricky's, Ricky's New York. So the next beauty things, oh to go along with that, I've been really loving brown lip liner, you guys know I just like love lip liner. But I love brown lip liner. The one I've been using recently is Cork by MAC, which is a really nice medium brown color. I love it. It gives you, like, definition. And you guys know I love to overdraw my lips. I also do this thing where I kind of shade in the corners of my mouth. It gives you a really nice pout. I love lip liner, and I love brown lip liner. Um, So on to some body care favorites while I was at Nordstrom Rack I needed a new body wash so I picked up the Sea Booth uh, body wash this is the clean vanilla bean bath and body wash and I picked it up because it says it's free of parabens, sulfates, mineral oil and petroleum and it was $6.97 which I don't think is bad for a body wash and it smells amazing and it doesn't dry out my skin but it gives a really good lather it smells like vanilla but it's like there's something else in it. It smells clean, but with a little bit of like a vanilla scent. It's very, very strong, which I like. Um, it's really good. And you can use this as a bowl bath. Um, I'll show you what it looks like if you're looking for it. They have different scents. Um, I really like this stuff. So I've never tried their products. Um, I also picked up, and they had a lot of stuff there. I also picked up the, it says new improved formula. But it's in the Sea Booth Tahitian Manoi Dry Oil Spray. Oh my god, this stuff smells so good, but I put this on after I put my lotion on. Um, so at nighttime, I have a routine after I get out of the shower. I like to put lotion on. It's kind of like my thing, my little pampering to routine. I put my lotion on, whether it's my, I'm going to show you one of my favorites right now, whether it's that lotion or whether it's my body canvas um, by Dr. Andrea Bridges, and then I put a little bit of oil on top. So this is a dry oil, so it's not very like oily or sticky, doesn't make you feel greasy. It just gives your skin a really good glow and some hydration. Also seals in the moisture that you have put on your body. So um, the other thing that I was just mentioning is my body cream. This is my current body cream, which is the Laura Mercier Almond Coconut Milk Body Souffle. This is like heaven. It smells like almonds and coconut. Oh, it smells so good, guys. It's just oh, it's my favorite thing in life. And this was a gift um, 
love it it is expensive um, but if you are big on pampering yourself or big on like lotions this is really really nice um, but like I said it was a gift so I, I'm enjoying it right now when it's gone I probably won't repurchase it unless I can get it you guys know I work for La Mercy unless I can get it from work or something but I love it and I've not even put a dent in that dent in it Let's see if it'll focus in there I've not even put a dent in it and I've been using it for over a week so I love this thing it's nice and thin but it's really moisturizing like I love it so if I don't want something heavy as heavy as the body canvas which I love I'll use this and plus this has a really nice like scent to it um, I love them both equally but I have been using this a lot lately uh, the only other um, body kind of care thing I have here is the Heel Tastic, and this is like one of those as seen on TV things, but I swear it works. Like I am obsessed with feet. Like not obsessed in a good way. I'm obsessed in a bad way. I hate feet. Like I wish I didn't have feet. I wish that I was like a brat doll, and you can just like, you know how the brat doll you could just like put their feet with their shoes on and you. Yeah. Anyway, I just hate feet. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. And so I'm obsessed with feet and I never want my feet to be dry or ugly or crazy looking. So I'm always going to get pedicures. I'm always like putting lotion on my feet. I like sleep with cotton socks on because I don't want ugly feet because I hate feet. So I love this because it keeps my feet really soft and I stand at work a lot. So, you know, it helps with my heels. It makes them really soft and I just love it. It um, is supposed to help... Um, if you have dry cracked heels, it's supposed to really help make that go away and disappear. It just has a bunch of like, um, I don't know what's in it, but there's a lot of, wow, there's a lot of different oils back here, but it's basically like a solid, I'll show you, it's like a solid and you just rub it on your feet and it makes them like super hydrated and shiny and not ugly <laughs> so yeah i love that that was a really long explanation for a simple product but i do love it i have a couple fragrance kind of favorites not a couple i have three um i have been loving Jo malone fragrances i've always really liked um this is what i'm wearing today so like refresh um oh what in my mouth <laughs> It doesn't taste too bad. <laughs> so I really love the Jo Malone fragrances. This is a Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. Mm, I have um, three or four Jo Malone fragrances, and this is probably my favorite one. It smells so good, and it smells like spring. It's just light and citrusy, but not too citrusy because I don't like too citrusy. It smells like nectarines, but like fresh nectarines. Like, oh my god, I'm so bad. Uh, explaining this but it smells like fresh citrus with a sweet undertone because it has the honey in it so it's not like straight up citrus it's just really pretty if you get a chance to smell it please smell it and you will know exactly why this is like the bomb.com also this has been in like a past recent one of my past favorites and it's the Chanel Chance which I'm almost done with I'm gonna have to get a new one um, which I don't want to because it's expensive. I wish I had a boyfriend to buy me stuff. <laughs> but I love, I love this so much. It smells so good and sophisticated and clean. And actually, I've been loving mixing these two together. This is like a light, fresh floral. And like when you mix it with this, it's like amazing. Whenever I go outside and I mix these two, people are like, what is that? They're like, what are you wearing? It smells so good. And I'm just like, thank you. It's Jim Malone and Chanel mixed together. I don't say it like that. I just say thank you. I tell them what it is. But the next fragrance that I've been loving is I was out of it and I recently got it from work. So I'm so happy I didn't have to pay for it. I got it from work um, for like a contest sort of thing. And it's the Ombre Vanille Fragrance from Laura Mercier. This has a cult following. It is beautiful. It's vanilla and amber but it's not it doesn't smell it doesn't smell like fake vanilla fake vanilla smells disgusting it's just like this fresh vanilla smell and it's feminine and sweet and pretty and it's beautiful I think it's a really nice spring scent even though it's a warmer scent it's not too warm I think it's really really girly and it's beautiful on um and it lasts on the skin even though it's only an eau de toilette so I've been loving those three fragrances. I have been rotating those three fragrances. So for hair, the only thing that I have for hair that I have been loving, and I'm going to 
show you. So you guys are probably like, what the heck is that? These are little Velcro bows and you guys might, if you watch YouTube, you might um, know what these are. These actually hold your hair back when like you're doing your makeup or washing your face or anything like that. I love these things. My cousin was in Chinatown recently and she picked them up for me. I have been looking for these forever and I couldn't find them. I love them so much. Oh my God, I just like put them on my hair. It holds my hair back. Like at the end of the night, I throw it on. I take my makeup off, take my contacts out, wash my face, and then I put my hair up for the night, like moisturize it and put it up. But this is nice because I hate when my, fair is, my, fa my hair is in the way and it's in my face when I'm trying to get things done, like either my makeup or I'm taking my makeup off or I'm doing like skincare stuff. I really want my hair out of the way. So this like takes your hair out of the way. And it's just so cute. It's so cute. I'm not going to put it in my hair now because my hair is done. Um, but it's really, really cute, and I just keep them on my little mantle right there where I have all of my skincare and stuff. So that's what I use. I love it so much. So that's all of my beauty favorites. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to random favorites. Um, right here, actually. I'll show you. So I'm drinking my little green smoothie that I love. Let me actually get the little bottle. That's, so I'm drinking my green smoothie. This is actually one of my favorites as well. This is the Love Grace green protein smoothie. It has kale, hemp seeds, chia seeds, wheat grass powder, golden flax seeds, coconut oil, coconut nectar, pea protein, lemon, banana, and spirulina. Uh, and this is a plant-based protein green smoothie. So I have that in my little Kate Spade uh, water bottle, which I love. Oh my God. So you guys know, or you may not know, but I'm obsessed with Kate Spade. I love Kate Spade everything. So this is a water bottle. Um, so this is the bottle here, and then there's a little cover here, and it has Kate Spade there, but it's a glitter, gold glitter cover, and they have different ones. They have the black and white polka dot, which she's really known for, and they have a like hot pink one, all hot pink. And then all the bottles, of course, are clear, and then you have the little top, and then you can carry it from here, or clip it onto your gym bag or something like that. Um, but I have my little smoothie in here right now. I like to drink uh, my iced tea if I ice my fit tea I like to put it in here or I like to put my juices in here because I mean I can't drink out of this like a normal person I have to put it in here but I love it oh my god and this is just the um straw from my Kate Spade tumbler actually my polka dot tumbler comes with the pink straw so I just I really love this and you guys like if you really know me, like in real life, you know that I love Kate Spade. Uh -huh. So um, that's actually going to segue into the next two favorites. Um, well, my next favorite actually, I wish, where is my old wallet? I think I threw it out. I did. When I got this, I threw it out. So I was in Nordstrom Rack and I was spe specifically, can't talk today, I was specifically looking for a new wallet because my old wallet ripped. Yes, I use it so much, it ripped. It was crazy. Um, but it was actually pretty cheap. So I wanted to invest in something good quality, so I got a Kate Spade wallet because you guys know I love Kate Spade, so why not? I got the Kate Spade wallet that looks like this. It's black with gold hardware. I wish it had silver hardware, but you open it up and it has, you know, the ID, the space for your ID, and then there's tons of space for cards. Over here I have my little work badge. I have my star, I have two Starbucks gold cards. Um, I have my, you know, credit cards, and then I have in here, like, some important stuff, and then this is room for cash, um, and you get extra, um, extra spaces, I have a coupon in here from Macy's, and then in the back is your space for change, so in the back you have your space for change, and then there's, like, a polka dot motif, black and white, I think this is just really chic and simple, and it'll last me a long time, so instead of buying cheap wallets, I just got this wallet, but it actually was only $50 um, at Nordstrom Rack. So you guys should hit up your local Nordstrom Rack or TJ Maxx um, or Last Call, which is like the discounted store for Neiman Marcus. Um, they have really good deals, and I thought that was a really good deal for a leather wallet and from a 
brand that I love. So $50 I thought was really great. Um, just a few more favorites. So I have these here, which are heavy. Ugh. So my sister-in-law got me these as sort of like a housewarming gift that, um, you know, from her. And I love this. She works for a magazine. She works for People Magazine. So <laughs> she had these at work. That's so bad. I don't even know where she works. Um, she had these at, at work and she brought them for me. Um, and I'm so happy because they're super heavy. They're coffee table books. So the first one is the Kate Spade um, coffee table book. And green which is my favorite color in the whole entire universe and then the, the the pages have a rose gold foil around them and then there's like all these pictures and quotes oh I just love it so much like I'm so happy and then she also got me the Tory Burch coffee table book this one is beautiful it comes in a box <clears throat> with Tory Burch paper. So this is the Tory Burch in color coffee table book. I just I just think these are perfect. I have so many plans for them once I like get everything in for my room, like all my furniture and everything, and once I can decorate in here. Like I have so many plans for them. I love them and I know I'm being annoying talking like I have no sense but I do I love them so much I can't even think straight because I love them so much um so those were all of my favorites my random my beauty favorites I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah thank you for sticking with the video this long I will talk to you guys in the next video and don't forget to like like my um Instagram Facebook and Twitter I'm not really on Twitter that much but I'm always on Instagram I live on Instagram like my Pinterest I have so many social media accounts that I will link down below so that you can keep up to date with what I'm doing in real life um but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know down below of course what were your monthly favorites uh, which is a great great way for me to kind of like discover new products and yeah I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one bye guys